Hi, today's video we're going to look at how to design doors on the Starfront program. So if you've been following along, you'll remember the last design that we did was this shop front design. So now we're going to design three different doors. We're going to design a patio door, we're going to design a palace sliding door, and we're going to design a vista fold door. All of which are very easy. So, once again, I click on the Add Design button. You give your design a reference. I'm going to call this D01. You got one of them, a thousand pascals. We're not worrying about installation at this stage. All right, go to our drop down menu. We select Doors. Under System, here we have got an icon patio door. We've got the Palace High Performance Sliding Door, the Vista Fold Door the 4500 heavy duty sliding door and the 5000 top hang sliding folding door. So we're going to first of all start with just a standard patio door. So choose the first option, icon patio door. Category, now there's a couple of different categories. First of all, the icon door has got a double and a triple track variation. Um, we've also then got the icon door with side lights on the side. We can do it with either a SWIFT 28 side light or with a SWIFT 30.5 side light. So I'll demonstrate to you an example with a side light. So I'm going to choose the Icon double sliding door with a SWIFT 28 slide, side light. And then I can choose from three different frame configurations. Basically I can choose the um, side light on the left, the side light on the right or side light on each side. So let's go for the first option, side light on the left. All right, on this frame now, I'm going to have to specify a width 1 and a width 2 and an overall height. So let's make our side light 900. Remember, use your tab key. The width of our door, where our door is going to go, we'll just make it a standard 2 meter 100 door. And the height of this door, we're going to make it 2 meters 100. So now on the right hand side you can see there I've prepared my frame. I've got a 900 side light on the left and I've got a 200, 2100 by 2100 opening where I'm going to put my door in. Alright, so now what we do is we can choose, we can either put the side light in or the door in first, it doesn't matter. As soon as I click on the panel, it's given me a warning that this glass area has exceeded. Um, the, the maximum for um, two point, uh, the maximum of 2.9 square meters for 6 millimeter laminated glass has been exceeded. Once again, I know I'm going to put a door in there and I'm going to split it into two panels, so I don't need to worry about that at the moment. So I'm going to say into opening number one, it's the left hand side. My only option is the side lights because this is a special side light frame. I can put in a, a 28, um, a sort of 28 side light into there, and then I have a choice of a single top arm over a fixed or a double top arm over a fixed. So I'm going to use the option of a double top arm over a fixed. Okay, so now it will put that double top arm over fixed on the left hand side. Now I need to put my patio door in, so I click on the green plus to add another insert. This time it's going to go into panel number two. What do I want to put in there? I want to put in a patio door. And again, I can put in either a two panel or a four panel sliding door. So let's just put in a two panel. And there's only one option in there. So I put that option in. So here now I've got a icon patio door with a Swift 28 side light. If I want to change the panel which is sliding, if I wanted this left hand panel to slide, then once again all I would do is I would change the hand on the insert for the, panel, for the patio door and it would change which panel is sliding. Alright, so patio doors are nice and simple. You can put your own dimensions in and if you want to you can put a side light left, right or on both sides. Okay, let's have a look at doing a palace door example. So let's add another design. Now you'll see the program gives us a warning. It will says that the transom will exceed the window. That's the transom on that side light. But Starfront will fix it for me. So I've had to put in a slightly bigger transom. And then I'm getting another warning here. It says the maximum height of 600mm for an icon 
um, top over fixed has been exceeded. And what it's saying there is that these sashes cannot exceed 600 mils in height. I'm going to fix that now. And then I'm getting another warning that my interlock on this design is not strong enough, but Starfront will fix the interlock. All right, so I can go back and, and just fix that, um, the, the size of those top lights if I want. Um, I'm not going to worry about doing that now. That's why it's always an advantage to click on the check design before you click on add so that you don't have that situation of errors coming up that you have to now go back and correct that other one. So let's do a palace, so door 02. Once again, we choose doors. This time the system, we choose the palace, high performance sliding door. That also has a double track and a triple track, so let's choose a triple track for a change. And again, on the palace, I can choose a fixed frame, side light on both sides, side light left or side light right. So I'm going to just choose a fixed frame for now. And let's say we're going to put in a six panel sliding door here. So we're going to want to be about 4.8 meters across and the height we're going to make it 2.1 meters high. So those are my frame dimensions. Then into open number one, I choose to put in a sliding door. So let's choose the palace door two. And then here what I said we want to do is we want to put in a six panel sliding door. Okay, and I can choose now, I can either have some of the panels fixed, like the two outside panels fixed, or I can have all panels sliding. And once again, I can have a palace door, a palace door with one mudrail, a palace door with two mudrails, and a palace door with three mudrails. So let's just go and put in a palace door where all the panels are sliding, and there's a six-panel palace door. So it's a good idea to push the check button, and great, there's nothing wrong. There's no mistakes on that. Nothing has to be scaled up on that design. Everything works fine. Okay, so your palace door works very similar to your, your Icon patio door. It's just obviously a much bigger, more heavy duty system. Um, it's also got a big, bigger overall capabilities in terms of sash sizes and things like that. All right, and then finally, let's have a look at a Vistafold door. So we've checked our design, we're happy with our design. So let's say add. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do door 03 now. Okay, there's one, a thousand pascals, no installation for this example. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose doors, but I'm going to choose the Vista. And when I drop down the category, there's one category for Vista. All right, so I had one overall frame. So let's say we have got a, a 3 meter 200 by a 2 meter 200 opening. That's my overall frame size. And then into panel number one, I put in a sliding folding door. And then I've got a couple of different categories here. So just to explain to you what these categories are. Vista one means a Vista fold system where all, do all doors slide in one direction. Vista two is doors sliding in two directions. So that would be either three plus one or a three plus three. Configurations with a B after it, so Vista 1B and Vista 2B, those are the butt hinge examples. So in Vista Fold, you can manufacture your doors either with a sinkless hinge or with a butt hinge, and it affects your cutting lists. So if you do want to use the butt hinge, then you must use the B examples. And then we have the Vista Duo. So the Vista Duo is where you've just got two panels, either two panels sliding left, two panels sliding right, or two panels sliding um, each way, so it'll be two left and two right. Then I have the Vista Mullion door. That's where there's an extra big mullion between the doors that allows you to go up to three meters high in your Vista fold door. Or I have the Vista Mullion in two directions. So those are my different options. So let's just choose uh, Vista Geo again in two directions. Then these are the different combinations. So two directions, for example, this is a three plus one. So you've got one hinged leaf and three sliding folding leaves. So I have that without a mudrail and with a mudrail. Then I have a three plus three without mudrail and with mudrail. 
a 1 plus 5, a 3 plus 5, a 5 plus 5, and a 1 plus 7. So there's a lot of different combinations. So let's just go in, in our example for a, a 1 plus 3. Okay, there's our 1 plus 3. If I want the hinged leaf opening on the other side, once again, what I can do is I can change this to a left-hand window and then, sorry, door. Then that um, door, will, that hinged leaf will be on the right-hand side and the other panels will be sliding to the left. So once again, let's check that design. Uh, it's telling me that the door style one is going to exceed the maximum allowable deflection for the specified wind load. I say OK and Starfront will automatically correct that. So doors are just as easy to design as, as your shop fronts and your windows. There's nothing complicated. You just need to know what the different categories are so that you choose the correct door for your application. Now, just to show you one thing, remember on door number one, we had that side light with our error on the sash sizes. Let me show you an easy way to get back to that door. Obviously, I could use my arrow buttons here to scroll through that design, go to door number two, go to door number one. But a quick way to do it is to use this button next to the reference with the three dots. And that will list all the designs that I've done so far on this contract. So I'm going to go back to door one. So I go to door one and I can just double click on it. And that will take me back to door one. Now when I was here, you'll see that each of these doors, Y1, Y2, sorry, each of these sashes, Y1, Y2, was sitting at 668. And the maximum for a Swift 28 sash is 600 high. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust that. I'm going to make Y1 600. Use my tab key. Y2 600. Use my tab key. And now what I've done is I've just restricted the height of those top end sashes on the Swift 28 side light um, to within 600. Now if I check my design, everything passes. There's nothing wrong with that design. Okay guys, so you see doors are nice and simple to design on Starfront. Once again, thank you for taking time to watch this video. I trust you all going to stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy. And we'll see each other again shortly for another video. Bye-bye.